Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Wimmings to the Tribes, and uh, no music. I'm never quite sure when it's going to cut on and when it's not. It, the game is kind of arbitrary that way. And sometimes I have to, here's a little bit of inside baseball, sometimes I have to stop the recording right away because I instantly forget what game I'm playing as I'm saying it. That's only happened with Wimmings 2. That has never really happened with any other game I've ever played, I don't think. But today, we've got the magic of mushrooms. Ah, ha, ha. The magic of mushrooms. A topic upon which Uncle Roundy uh, could probably expound at great length. But we have, uh, we have a lot of familiar stuff here. The only new one is the Spearer, which I assume throws a spear somewhere. It looks like it's... Looks like it's got a spear ready to go on some kind of javelin type trajectory. Let's go ahead and let's get some music playing because this quiet is disquieting. Let's go ahead and play. It looks like we've got kind of a vertical level here. We're gonna be bopping from mushroom to mushroom to mushroom. What is so magical about the dang mushroom? Let's get let's get the music going. I'm tired of no music uh, in this early part of the episode here. So we've got we've got a bit of a path here involving mushrooms. Okay. And here's the exit down here. So this looks a little awkwardly situated. Let's see what we've got out front as far as a trap. Oh, they don't walk up the trellis. They walked up the trellis in the outdoor. In, in like the glide like the wind or whichever one it was. The one with the other one with the creepy bush here. Stay away from that turtle, Grandma. It's got eyes on its shell. But it looks like they've got themselves in a nice little loop so we can just put a jumper out, or I thought we could put a jumper out. We gotta clear it a little better than that. Um, so yeah, there must have been a shorter trellis than I'm imagining. So we've got fencers. They should be able to get them out just, themselves out just fine. Uh, in all in good time. Let's see. What then shall we do? How shall we spend our day, lads? Probably by, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and what's what's going on here okay so he bumps off against the edge of that but he's still safe so we're gonna be doing some fencing oh I may have did I unintentionally make myself a nice little safe step here okay he can't get over that still for some reason everything is really tiny in lemmings too I've noticed it's hard to it's hard to sort out I'm gonna use all my fencers if I don't if I'm not careful just getting through this little how do you do Okay, so let's seal that. Yeah, I thought we had some platformers. I clicked you. I didn't unpause. Good grief. Okay, well, this isn't going to be a hard level because uh, it's hard. It's going to be a hard level because Uncle Roundy doesn't know how to control things. So let's go ahead and pop through there. There we go. All right, that's a... Okay, there we go. All right, let's immediately seal it off with a platformer. Okay, it looks like there's a hole there over... Golly! Okay. This should have been called the magic of really difficult trellises. Why am I having such a hard time with this? Good grief. This is a, this is a, this is definitely, you're just getting, you're definitely getting just woke up level roundy here. Uh, okay. Seal it off, please. Thank you. Okay, now we can move on to probably roping our way down if we can find some good spots that aren't too terribly awkward. Looks like maybe we want to... All right. Let's see. How do we want to go about this? What's the best route here? We've got some time, unlike in Friday's walk. I'm paying attention to the clock this time. So maybe we want to rope out to here to start. Wow, that was a bit of a panic click. I'm already getting weird about my clicking. All right. So we could use we could use platformers and stompers in concert maybe to to make ledges out to less awkward areas let's try that first I kinda wanna get to this mushroom right here it looks like looks like I could do some good things from that vantage point okay it's gonna take some creativeness actually the the connecting the dots with the rope is not as straightforward as it looks this level could be deceptively hard I think there we go. Alright, and I will stomp at the appropriate time to end this because I have those as well in my arsenal. Alright, so... When we get on top of here... Alright, that's a great point to watch a game from. So, let's see what happens then. 
Ah, okay. I think I want to go to... I think I want to go to the next mushroom top below me. Where, where are my ropers at? There we go. Alright, so go ahead and pop it. There we go. Okay. I worry about those edges sometimes, especially shooting down from them, because it seems like it'd be pretty awkward. I didn't mean to unpause again. I got super finicky with it. Is there anything that can save me here? Can I rope from, like, the air? That would be... No, I cannot rope from the air. Oh, yeah, that... That was too ugly. I, I wasn't... I didn't think he was going to get through that one. Okay, I think I'm going to rope down to this central mushroom instead. And, yeah, so instead of stomp... I'm going to save my platformers for later. I have four right now, but I need to conserve them. I think it might take three to get over to here. I can kind of make a platformer route out to here. Or maybe even go one or two platformers out and then shoot down to here... And then use one last one to get to the exit. I can use kind of a mix of things here. It's a very it's a very nice level in that regard. Giving you lots of ways to try new things. I think I may have shot myself in the foot here, so to speak. Yep, okay. Well, not really. Okay, I can, I can stomp through this rope and it still works out. There we go. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start... Can I go ahead and... Let's see. I'm going to try roping. Against my better judgment, I'm going to try... I'm going to try roping at the end of this, uh... Uh... Mushroom. Forgot that these were called mushrooms for a second. I'm forgetting the names of common objects. Here we go. Now I can stop here. Now I've got a lot of platformers I can use here. There we go. Let's start making the voyage out to the left then. That's, oh, that's very clean. I enjoy that a lot. I think I'm going to be able to free my comrades any day now. So, okay. Alright, so can I rope from a... I don't know if I want to risk roping from a... I don't think I would do. I don't want to risk roping from a platform. I don't know how... I don't know how weird that's going to get. Because I can just stomp this one out. I may even be able to just let it go to its natural... Yeah, I can let it go to a pretty natural endpoint. Let's go ahead and stomp to make it just that much nicer. And then, yes, build one to here, and they're pretty much home free. I can go ahead and free the comrades now. Pretty easy to open up, because there we go. Yeah, they they flowed in a nice pattern that made it easy to bash through the trellis. So let's go ahead and fast forward through that one. Yes, those were indeed some magical mushrooms. Looks like there's any number of routes you could take through here. This is a very open-ended level, which is, uh, those aren't ever hard to solve, but, you know, they can get a little awkward from time to time, but this one wasn't even all that awkward. I think, I think we did a pretty good job of it and managed not to make hash of it. So, there we go. Another 60 limbs saved. That is excellent. Let's move on to the next level. The next level of the Outdoor Tribe. We are cooking through the Outdoor Tribe in a way that we... Definitely weren't through the Egypt tribe. The Egypt tribe had some pretty lethargic process. Natural selection. 22 jumpers, 22 shimmiers, 22 floaters. That would be great if we had 22 lemmings, but we don't. So it's going to be pretty arbitrary how this works out. 10 bazookas, 10 bombers. Okay, a lot of explosives here. That's, that's interesting. One attractor. One attractor. So the attractor should probably... Anytime you get one attractor, I'm imagining you're going to be doing some walking. And I'm kind of coming to appreciate the attractor because the attractor can be released in a non-lethal way, in the way. In a way that... In lots of ways that the blocker usually can't. Alright, so we've got this going for us. What are we doing here? The exit is right here. So there's not much to it, but... A big problem is we don't really have any building test. What is this one again? Jumper, shimmier, floater. Okay, we have floaters. Like, classic, legit classic floaters. Okay. Okay, so how do we get to the tent? What's going to help us get to the tent here? So we can maybe split this. Okay, so it's going to be a 3-3-3 three, three, and three kind of thing. So... Are we really going to have to plan out three different routes? No way. Okay, so... Alright, this is... 
Oh, Gadzooks. Okay, so where do they walk to around here? Okay, so we have three different exits also. Okay, so we can kind of work it out that way. So it would seem like the Shimmiers... Okay, so let's start with the let's start with the shimmiers because they can go they can go along this route. So what? Uh, can they not? Oh, you have to do it in a much more amenable spot. Okay, I was like, why aren't you shimming? But they actually have to get a bit of a jumping start. Okay, so we'll do it on this little hill here. So we'll use twenty shimmiers. Okay, so bop along with shimmiers. They're gonna go their way. And I think once they get over here, they're going to be safe. So I think we can, uh... And then from there, it's just going to be a matter of... Bazookaing or bombing or whatever I choose to do. Bombing would be nice, because I don't have to worry too much about uh, direction with it. Uh, Alright. So, I'm going to... Oh, yikes. Okay. Wow, that was surprisingly tough to handle. Okay, so... Shimming. 20 shimmiers. Let's go. Wow, that is much harder to do than it looks. Okay, but there's two left, so that should be 20 going that way. So now we should be able to do 20 jumpers going to... Okay, yeah, 20 jumpers going across that way. So, all right, another 20 it is. Let's... Oh, no, what? Why are, why are some of them going this way? Are they... Well, it doesn't really matter, I don't suppose, because as long as they all get into a safe spot, I'm happy. All right, so let's do the hops now. That one just got stunned. Okay, yeah, so if a few of the shimmiers go into the space that I have reserved for the jumpers, then it's okay. All right. Another not, a, another not hard level. Okay, it's just uh, distributing things. Distributing your lemmings, really. Okay, and three and two. That should make 20. So now let's have the rest of them float. Oh, okay. Now I see where they get the. Now I get to see where they get the green, uh, turning floaters green and neo limics to to sort out your floaters. I see where they get that now. That's a very convenient system. Making floaters is much easier, especially when we don't have when we have a lot of time to get through it here. All right, everybody has been assigned a task, and everybody is in a spot that will lead to. Okay, let's see. We've got one mortar. We've got ten bombers. Let's go ahead and, uh... I think the best thing to do here would be to bazooka our way out of this one. Alright, there we go. Everybody is safe in their relative spots, which is nice. But they can go here now. Wow, really only a few shimmiers got through to here. Boom! Okay, so those guys are safe. Alright, so we're going to be doing some bazooka-ing. Alright. I think we're going to bomb through here. Yeah, it's going to take a few bombers to get through here. Yeah, they're going to have fun with that stun deal. Boom! Okay, wow, okay. I do need to make it so that they're kind of contained, though. Alright. Boom! Okay. Well, yeah. I think they're mostly safe. Yeah, they're not going too far afield. Though, in an open space... Oh, no! Oh, gosh! Ooh, that scared me for a second. I thought that might be way too far. And now we can get through here with bazookas, I think. There. <laughs> oh, and they even float on the way down from a from a thing like that. That's great. Okay, so we can bazooka our way out to the exit from here. Yeah. Sorry, we. The outdoor drive is probably entirely deaf now, uh, thanks to me and my. And my careless actions. But they've all made it home safely. So I don't know what they're complaining about. Why don't you just munch on a carrot and call it a day. Yeah. You can't hear what I'm saying. What am I talking about? Alright. Let's get in there then. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Everybody go to their separate cabins for the night. Wow. That was another one. I'm, the outdoor tribe. A little bit easier than Egypt I would say. If I'm ranking them so far. But we haven't faced the... The climactic outdoor levels yet, but we're going to do at least one of those here now. This is level 8 of outdoor, I believe. I kind of wish they numbered them. That would be a little more helpful, but they don't seem to be doing that for me. The Laws of Tradition, 4 minutes and 30 seconds. We have the Rock Climber Slider Combo, which has been heavily denigrated in the comments before. Uh, one Bomber, two Attractors, nine. a lot of very specific 
numbers of skills here. I wonder what I'm going to be up against here. The laws of tradition dictate that we solve this level in one way and one way only. That's the way it always been, and so shall it always be, saith I, the king of the outdoors. So what have we got here? The exit is probably, yeah, the exit's up in here. But you know what? We've got an attractor, so... Oh, wow, this is a... This is quite the setup we've got here. We've got the the vines that are shaped like the toy you see at the doctor's office. You know, the one where you push the little beads along it. It's, it's way too easy for a big brain genius like me. You know that toy. Uh, okay, spider. Sure would appreciate some ropers here, actually. We've got nine platformers. All right, I'm going to get one platforming and one. Do we have a jumper or anything easy to release it with? Okay, we do have the rock climber and the slider, which may come in handy over here. Only one stomper. Okay, what a what a tangled web we weave in this level. But I'm gonna try to feel it out by I'm gonna try to feel it out for the most part. Okay, since he's platforming, an attractor should do. Uh, there we go. An attractor should do nothing. So I get out here. Hopefully, it won't. You won't keep going at the end of your platform. You won't start dancing at the end of your platform, is what I mean. And that's exactly what you did. Okay, so we may have to use another one here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Maybe I should have it jump out the way. Maybe if it's on a different plane of existence. Boy, no jumpers to release. That And I feel... Um, try going a little farther out, why don't you? All right, so if we go up in here, all right, I feel like maybe we ought to be trying to, okay, are you going to go up onto here? Good, okay, yeah. All right, so if I go up through here, this is quite the interesting little how do you do we've got here. Okay, we could, this seems, this could be pretty easy actually. Um, as long as I just platform to here, I think I could platform to here, fence, stomp fence, another platformer, and then fence again, uh, and then how would I release my, what would be the best way to release my, maybe by having him scoop? No, maybe I should do one scooper up here. Okay, yeah. This will actually, yeah, this looks pretty, pretty nice for scooping. So I'm going to give that a try. How how do I want to... We'll do one fencer up here. One fence. One fence. We'll try scooping at first, maybe. No, it should be fence, stomp, fence. Because if I get scooper going... Yeah, if I bomb right here, maybe I should have put the bomb in a different spot. Because if I bomb here... I should have put the attractor right at the beginning, I think. So, but we'll see how it goes. I may have I may have uh, fudged this too badly, but we'll see how it works out. And if not, I know how to beat the level anyway, so. Alright, get going through there. And then let's go stompy smashy. Looks like most of this level is just here for decoration, which I can always appreciate a nice little bit of decor. Okay, so I'm going to have you go as just as far as you can. Once your foil hits hits solid ground there. Okay, now we want to angle you up. Pretty much so you're hitting like the top of this thing, but not the steel. And I think I've done a pretty good job of that. Another platformer. Oh, I can just have the attractor build a platformer. Lord knows I've got enough of those left. So, oh man, easy level. Easy. Okay, so, and everybody is safe, so I can have them go at this point. Why don't you go ahead and build a platform? There you go. All the comrades are being freed now. And then this will angle up into exit territory. So, boom. Wow, that one was uh, shockingly simple, actually. that I did get afraid there. It's like, why did I get afraid, though? Why did I panic? Okay, you are angling a little sharper than I would have liked, but I think you're going to stop eventually. Like, right before... Wow, yeah, that couldn't have made that cleaner. That was fantastic. And with that, we're going to say... Goodbye to the uh, to the outdoor tribe for the day, and I think next time we're going to be able to put it behind us all together and get that gold medallion. The outdoor tribe, except for that one level, Deliverance. Deliverance was pretty nasty, but other than that, 
Outdoor hasn't been too bad so far. And, <clears throat> excuse me, getting a little flimmy right here toward the end. But that's it. That's it. 60 women saved once again. And we're through, I think we're through eight, if I've been keeping track correctly. But, you know, you know the crazy scatterbrain of Uncle Roundy. That's always, that's always a crapshoot.